this year will mark 15 years of a transformed sphere of local government in South Africa. The amount of municipal service delivery progress attained during the last 12 years reaffirms the solidity of the path we chose when we affirmed the vision of developmental local government as far back as 1998, when we adopted the white paper on local government. Today, we can unequivocally state that despite the challenges, the structure and system of local government has been set on a firm foundation and that local government is indeed resilient and strengthening. But as the system grows and matures, so too the challenges grow and transform. More and new challenges have emerged and need to be confronted head-on and immediately. The high levels of mobility between rural and urban areas is unprecedented, not only in our country but the entire sub-Saharan Africa and indeed the world. More than half of the world's population will live in emerging market cities by 2050. Cities in countries such as China, India, Russia, Indonesia, Brazil, Turkey, Mexico and South Africa. Approximately 460 million people in emerging market cities will enter the middle class between 2010 and 2015. South Africa's own middle class population will increase from 17 to 22 million during this time. In 2009, for the first time, Africa's total population passed the 1 billion mark. 40% of that number lived in urban areas. In 2000, Lagos had a population of 13.4 million people. In 2015, that number will be 23.2 million. In 2010, Kinshasa had a population of 8.7 million and this number will increase by 46% by 2020 making it the fastest growing city on the continent. It's predicted that by 2050, more than 60% of Africa's population will live in urban areas. By 2011, almost 63% of our own South African population were residing in towns and cities.